Good morning class. For today, I will discuss the first topic this week, which is all about the uh, word problems that lead to rational equations. Let's go straight to the example. Number one, John can correct a stack of papers in five hours. Peter can do the same job in four hours. Question is, how long will it take them if they work together okay, to finish the job? So, this is basically the same as word problems or rate problem, okay? So let's uh, determine first what are the uh, things we need here. Of course, the rate of John, which is that job in five hours, he can finish that. Peter, on the other hand, can finish that in four hours. So for John, that would be one over five, that job over five. So that's the rate of John, okay? Peter, on the other hand, um, his rate is 1 over 4, okay? That job over 4, 4 hours, okay? The question is, if they are together, John and Peter, how long will it take them? So that's X. If they work together, that, uh, that particular job is going to be finished in how many hours, Okay? So let's have an equation here. This is 1 over 5, the rate of John, plus 1 over 4, the uh, rate of Peter, equals 1 over x, which is the rate of them if they work together. Okay? So again, first step in solving a rational equation, eliminate the denominators by multiplying all the terms or each term by the either LCD of the denominators or product of the denominators. Now in this case, since 5, 4, and x uh, are relatively prime, we can just multiply all of this uh, 3, and the answer will definitely be 20x. So that 20x is the term we will multiply to each term, okay? So 20x times 1 over 5 plus 20x times 1 over 4 equals 20x times 1 over x. Okay, again. That 20x is the product of 5, 4, and x. 5 times 4 is 20, um, times x is a 20x. So 20x times 1 over 5, we can cancel 20 and 5, that becomes 4. 4 times x is 4, times 1 is 4x. Plus, 20 divided by 4, that's 5, times x is 5x, times 1 is 5x, equals... 20x uh, times 1 over x, we can cancel x there. 20 times 1 is equal to 20. And now we have a simpler equation and we can solve this. This is easy. This is 9x equals 20 divided by 9 divided by 9. So the answer is 20 over 9. Or if, if, you, can, if you want to convert that into decimal, that's approximately... Uh, 2.22 hours. There you go. Okay, let's have the second example. Chris can mow the lawn in three and a half hours. Theme can finish the same job in two and three over four hours. If they work together, how long will it take them to finish the job? Now, if you notice here, we are dealing uh, with... Um, Mixed numbers, so the first thing we need to do here is convert them into improper fractions, okay? So for Chris, it's uh, 3 and 1 half. So to convert that into mixed number, multiply the denominator to 3. 2 times 3, that's 6 plus 1, and that's equal to 7 over 2. For uh, Thim, that's 3, um, sorry... That's 2 over 3 over 4. So 4 times 2 is um, 8. Plus 3 is 11 over 4. Okay? Okay? That's 11 over 4. Next is uh, we can now uh, create uh, the equation to solve the problem. Okay? So the rate of Chris is 1 over 7 over 2 plus the rate of Tim is Tim is um, 11 over 4. So 
7 over 2 plus 11 over 4, and that is equal to 1 over x. And we don't know that. That's x. Okay? So this is a, this is a complex fraction here. That's 1 over 7 over 2. To simplify that, uh, we need to put the denominator here, the denominator of the denominator. So our denominator is 7 over 2. That denominator, the denominator of that fraction is 2. So we will put this 2 here in the numerator. So that's 2 over 7. So you got to flip that. The numbers. Okay. Plus. You have to multiply 2 to 1. This 4 times 1. That will give us 4 over 11. Equals 1 over x. Okay. Then we'll multiply all of this by 77x. Which is the product of 7, 11, and um, x. So, 77x times 2 over 7 plus 77x times 4 over 11 equals 77x um, times 1 over x. Okay. So, here we can cancel 7 and 77. So, that's 11 times 2 is 22 times x is 22x plus... We can cancel 77 and 11. That gives us 7 times 4 is 28 times x is 28x. 77x and uh, times 1 over x. We can cancel x. That's 77 times 1. And that will give us 77. So our equation is um, just add this to 20, 22 and 28. That is equal to um, 50x equals um, 77. Next step is divide both sides by 50. So x is equal to 77 over 50 or 1.54 hours. 1.54 hours. So that is our answer. Okay, let me give you another example. This is the third one. One person can clean the house in five hours. If a second person helps to clean the house, the job can be done in just two hours. Question, how long should it take the second person to clean the job or to clean the house alone? Okay, so first person, his rate is um, one over five hours. Okay, the second person's rate is, we don't know, so that's just one over X. If they work together, okay, first plus second, if they work together, it will take them two hours. So that's just one over two, okay? So now we can create an equation out of here. Um, that's one over five plus one over x equals one half, okay? So this is for the first person. This is for the second person. We don't know the, the rate of the second person. We, we need to find out out. And then one half is the rate of if they work together, okay? To solve for x, first step again, get rid of the denominators by multiplying all of the terms either by the LCD of the denominators or by the product of the denominators. Here, we will multiply each term by 10x. That's 5 times x times 2 is 10x. So 10x times 1 over 5 plus 10x times 1 over x equals 10x times 1 half. So here we can cancel 10 and 5. That's 2 times x times 1 is 2x. Plus, we can cancel x here. That gives us 10. Equals, we can cancel 10 and 2. That gives us 5. So that's 5x. Okay? So let's solve for x here. Um, subtract 2x on both sides. We will cancel that. So 10 equals 3x. Final step is divided by 3. So x is 10 over 3. Or if we want to convert that into decimal, that's approximately 3.33 hours. So that's the rate of the second person. One job in 3.33 um, hours. Okay, let's proceed to the last example in today's lesson. The problem is, Jack and Jill can clean the house in four hours. If Jack, can, uh, if Jack works thrice as fast 
as Jill. If each does the job alone, how long will it take Jack to clean the house alone? So let's simplify things. If they work together, they ra their rate is 1 over 4. Okay? 4 hours. They can clean the house in 4 hours. Now, Jack is 3 times faster uh, than um, Jill. So if the rate of Jill is 1 over x, Jack's rate is going to be 3 times 1 over x. Okay? So to solve for this, we have to know what's x first. So this is going to be um, 3 over x. This is the rate of Jack. 3 times 1 is 3, and that's over x plus 1 over x equals 1 over 4. Okay? Now, these two are the same. So we can add 3 and 1. That's 4 over x equals 1 over 4. Okay? Now, from there, we can just simply cross multiply that. That is 16 equals x. So our x is 16, but that's not the answer. Okay? Uh, 16 is actually the hours it will take Jill to clean the house. Okay? Now, Jack is three times faster than Jill. So you're not going to multiply this because if you multiply this, it will take John to clean the house in 48 hours. That doesn't make any sense, right? Because Jack is faster than Jill. So what you will do is you're going to divide 16 by 3. So 16 divided by 3, okay, that is equal to 5.33 hours. Now, that's make, that, that makes sense, okay? It will only take Jack to clean the house in just more or less 5 hours.